How does the domination of our political discourse by the extremes affect tonight's topic? And can the center ever matter again? <laughs> Interestingly enough, that this is one of the things that we were all talking about in the back. Um, so who wants to start? Mr. Secretary, Governor do you Governor Ridge with had that? a great expression for it, the Talibanization of of politics. Well, I never, well, you're the first one that said that. I told you I'd never say it publicly, but I, I do think. <laughs> you have it. So, so, so much for that idea, Tom. Okay, thank you very much. Well, once a journalist, always a journalist. There's a scoop. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I think there are people. Speaking on, of WikiLeaks. On, well, <laughs> I told you it's the way we do business. I, I think there are both people on both sides of the aisle who insist on absolute agreement, absolute congruency, and if you're not viewed that way, you're viewed as an infidel, and they'll try to, they'll, they'll try to eliminate you politically. And, you know, we were talking about this earlier today. If the United States, for all time in the future, is to line up liberal and conservative, then we, we probably have the wrong form of government. We should probably go to a parliamentary system. And I don't want to go to a parliamentary system. I like the system that we have now. And what we've lost along the way because of the rhetorical extremes on both sides of the aisle is that governance is about solving difficult problems. Governance requires compromise. I know there's some shrill rhetoric about people who are willing to compromise or principle. Nonsense. We, for example, we have an immigration policy. There are strongly held views on both sides, but it is a problem. Now, it can continue to be the third rail of American politics, or responsible men and women will sit around and make concessions, heaven forbid, so we have a policy that advances our interest. It can be done. Right now, there's not a political will to do it. Energy policy, there's a long list. So uh, I'm just afraid right now that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm almost rendered speechless when I think about how dysfunctional the system is. Because politics is not supposed to be about personalities, it's supposed to be about ideas. You're not supposed to question somebody's patriotism, integrity, or anything else. 